Welcome back to John's Daily Calls, guys. Happy team of the year. Today drops the team of the year. So some of you guys are going to see this after the fact. So I'm going to try to talk about stuff that's going to happen later on. But also, this goes out to my subs. So there's going to be a portion of this that is going to be my sub pre-context. So we're going to start right with the pre-context. So if you guys are seeing this after team of the year, uh, go ahead and skip a couple minutes in. Uh, but let's go ahead and get to it. So um, if you guys are here, remember, if you guys do subscribe to the channel, uh, we are going to be bid battling today. So if you're seeing this after the fact, we're most likely bidding and trading today. So come join us live at twitch.tv slash John Sims. But I am selling out everything. Um, still going for some lazies. I was able to get out. Uh, I was able to go from almost zero to about a million. And then I've got 72 on the board. I'm probably just going to sell them at base min. And then I'm going to go in on stuff that is big, but going out of packs. What I mean by, or is out of packs. So I mean by that is like a Hanson card. Um, 930k even though it's up I don't care I'm looking to put that into something that I can go with so I'm going to be only trading probably with maybe a quarter mil so that's that's where I'm looking to to get my coinage um, so uh, Hanson here maybe a Putellus maybe uh, how big is this? the Toure here uh, maybe a Janola if I can get my hands on it uh, I'm looking for stuff that's out of packs that has a chance to continue to go up. That's why I'm looking to push like my coinage. So, um, and I've kind, I'm kind of changing some of the way I'm talking. So I wanted to be liquid in the idea that anything that's packable has a chance to go down significantly. And even though I'm going into big stuff, I don't, I'm not a hundred percent confident in the big stuff. So that being said, I guess this is, this is where I'm at. So if you guys are just now joining us, this is this is kind of that that's what I'm doing for the subs. Uh, if you guys are just now seeing this after the fact, we are most likely bidding right now, making coins. So that's my ultimate goal is to make coins today, uh, relatively liquid with just like a quarter mil. I know I can generate. I know I can generate. I can take. I don't need much to generate coins. And what I mean by that, guys, is if you come to our live stream at twitch.tv slash John Sims. I win stuff on bid battles. We call it bid battles because we just constantly are bidding against people and we're winning bids. So that's bid battle. Come to the live stream. I promise you just come to the live stream. That's all I can say. Besides that, uh, besides the subs, you guys, the subs, you guys already have a video in there, but this is the concept that I'm looking for uh, right now. So 90% of my coins, um, 70% maybe, I'm going to buy one big card that I think has is around a mil to two mil right and around that price whatever i can get my hands on it may not even be 70 percent. it may only be like 40 or 50 whatever i can get a mil to two mil that's a hansen that's janola something like that now i've been kind of saying i don't like big stuff be liquid and honestly that's still the safest thing to do that's still the safest thing to do because i can't i'm not guaranteeing i'm not guaranteeing that these prices are going to be sky high right um like a whole it here i do not think he's going to maintain value um if anything i think this card's gonna drop because people will pack him this year there's only one icon versus three of them so the supply is a little bit different so i i believe that this will come down all all has to happen is like five people pack them and then they drop the prices off that then all those people that pump the price up or that just bought trying to put their thinking oh it's gonna it's gonna shoot to the moon and then five cards come in they undercut 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 People that invest are different than people that buy and hold. That's that's what I'm trying to say. So people that invest, the the pivot, the the rotation down is way. It's gonna happen. So it, it happens. It just happens because of the psychology. It's it's it, they're like weak investments. If somebody's playing with the card and they're like, I really don't want to sell this, that's a stronger hold right for that person. But if people are just buying it to see it go up and it doesn't go up, they sell it and then it just reverses the the reverses the uh trade so i guess what i'm trying to say though is i believe after doing further uh reconsideration in the market i kind of talked about this yesterday and kind of talked about this the day before kind of getting into this big stuff that's out of packs has the highest chance to go up for the next week or so after that once these play style pluses come in it will destroy the market if Team of the Year nominees have two playstyle pluses. It's going to destroy the market. 
every 89 rated card is going to get obliterated. They are going to get obliterated. So a 91 Hanson, if you have a card that's 89 Hanson, if you get 89 Hanson, the exact same card, that's even lower than the 90 gold. Would you buy the 89 Hanson that has two playstyle pluses versus the 90 gold or the 91 Hanson? Would you, you see what I'm trying to say? Most people, a lot of people would because of that advantage. So I guess what I'm trying to say is I do not think the market is going to be the same as it was last year. And what happened last year is cards like, uh, let's just, if I just go and pull up um, like a card like Lucio. I, like, I really like Lucio, showing Lucio. So this is his card that's, that was in packs and it went to the moon, right? Went from 580 to almost 800. That's a pretty big jump for a card that's in packs. Between now, between now and end of February. So basically over a month, he pumped. I don't know if that's going to happen again. Now, team of the year is like 13 days or something like that, 12 days, some, something weird, right? But then team of the year nominees are a week after that. Well, so team of the year technically lasts for a long time. But the cards that are out of packs, if you go back to Lucio, for some reason it won't pull up that uh, Lucio tab. And you go to the out of pack cards, the out of pack cards pop even further, right? 1.2 to 2.5, 2.7, all the way into March. But this one's this was arguably the best center back in the game at that time. I guess what I'm trying to say, though, is you want to go with the stuff that's out of packs. Number one, that's why I'm saying buy the stuff that's out of packs. Number two, the reason why I don't think this is going to last is because this was the best center back in the game. If you're going and you're buying... Of VVD win a wild card this year, and you're and this is the best center back pretty much in the game, and you're expecting this to be the best center back outside outside of the team of the year cards because the team of the year cards are you know anyways you're expecting you're expecting this to be the best card for a long time with your 1.7 mil. I don't know if that's going to happen. That's all I'm trying to say. It, I believe that while Team of the Year is in packs, yes, because it's going to be almost impossible to touch some of these. Some of them are going to be 5, 10 mil, right? Plus. Like a Putellis card that we saw dr dropped, all that stuff, they're going to be 5, 10 mil plus. So I guess what I'm trying to say, this, this is what I'm trying to say is, cards like this, it's out of packs, but it's going to get significantly depreciated if a, another card comes in, a Team of the Year nominee, 89 rated, or a Team of the Year objective, Dante comes out and has two playstyle pluses and kills this value. It may kill this card. So all I'm trying to say, I, I, how many times am I going to try to say that? How many times do I say all I'm trying to say? Basically, guys, I, I want you to be very careful because we're essentially after Team of the Year, we're going into Wild West territory. We're going into this road un, unchartered. We're going into territory that we've never seen before. Playstyle pluses are new this season one. But two playstyle pluses are double new, I guess. Double new. And if you guys have been watching content and people have been saying, oh, it's a guarantee must go up, I am saying hold the horses. They are not anticipating the valuation of the super meta market and the valuation of the mid meta market given more playstyles, given a shift in the meta. What I do know is, when you see cards from last season, like Holland, when they introduced Lengthy, at the beginning of the year, cards like Holland, I don't know if you remember, Holland's, Holland's price was went from, on day of, 50K, it went all the way up to like 400 on the shift of a meta curve. I'm using this as an example. Now, then he got packed extremely high, but... Until end of October, he was a 88 rated going for almost 200 when every when KDB was relatively already at discard. But when I'm, why I'm using this example is I'm trying to show that the meta curve is where the money goes. That's the whole point. Build the best team possible. Ultimate team. And EA are going to do everything they can to make money. And that means they do not want the values... 
of cards that have been out of packs that people already have their hands on to go up. If anything, I believe that the Team of the Year cards are going to come in so high, it's going to be tough for people to get their hands on them. One. Number two, I also believe that meta cards may rise between now and the Team of the Year, and then once affordable cards come in, people are dumping those. They're going to dump to get the better. They're going to dump to get the better, and that is going to be all that stuff. That's all, honestly, one of the, they're going to get, they're going to dump every. That's why I believe EA are dropping all these icons this early. That's why I believe they dropped a unique pullet, a unique Eusebio that early in the game. It doesn't make sense. A 92 Eusebio, it doesn't make sense. They do things to make profit, and I believe they are forecasting profit. Now, I've done a lot of these SBCs because they're really good given the last, uh, last years, right? I've done a lot of these. Now, I'm, I'm selling a Maldini right now, but uh, I'm do I've done a lot of these, and I'm finishing Kafu here. So pretty much, I, I basically have been trading and doing FC and doing SBC SBC squad evolution SBC evolution squad. I'm basically that's what I have. But I guess to finish this video, the idea is join us live bid battle. We're gonna flip. Be careful with the big stuff. Just understand it's not guaranteed to go up. There are signs for it to go up for a short period of time, but then there's a huge question mark at the end of Team of the Year. And once those leaks drop, once those leaks come out, that's it. That's pretty much, that might be it. Because when leaks drop, we don't know when they come, right? 6 p.m. UK, content comes out every day. But Sheriff, these, these, uh, these, these code breakers, when they go in and they, they find this, the code and they see these stats, they see the play styles, they drop it at like 2 a.m. USA time, right? Eastern time. They may drop it at 1 p.m. UK. They may drop. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know when they are going to drop this stuff. So that being said, when those leaks come, it could, it could, the second Second, they get wind of two playstyle pluses for Team of the Year nominees. You may see stuff go in. You, you may see the market go haywire. It may not. It, it, it may happen instantly. It may not happen instantly. It may just happen once the market comes out. It's new territory. That's all I'm trying to say. I just want you guys to be careful with your coins. If anything, I care about, I care about the little guy as much as I care about the big guy. So the, the little guys out there that have 100K, 200K, I care about you just as much as my guys in my premium that have 25, 40 mil. So just just be aware that uh, I, I care about your coins. So don't go in off of a title that says buy now on, on some channel. And then they just totally reverse their position and you guys get dumped and you have no control over it because they said something you just weren't there. Just be aware of that. That's why, that's why I worry about. So until next time, guys, remember... If you buy right, you never lose. And that's the goal. So if you buy, if you buy, if you buy with John, you always win. If you buy right, you never lose. If you buy with us, you always win. We'll see you tomorrow.